hey guys welcome back to my channel this is going to be one of those maybe controversial videos <laughs> maybe not it's just going to be an opinionated video um i mean if you would like to join the discussion <laughs> leave a comment down below these are just my opinions and things that i have observed from friends from family and uh, from just associates and everything like that and for people who have reached out to me and i'm just gonna give my opinion and we just gonna get along with it so let's get right into it okay so guys <laughs> women okay and men whatever the case may be protect your edges a lot of people are having problems with edges hair loss and things like that now let me address this matter first okay if some people have different conditions some people have like alopecia and other kind of conditions that will cause hair loss and it may be hard for them to grow their hair back if it is something severe like that if it runs in the family because i know on my father's side that does run in their family so if it's something like that or like if like your hair will grow from like the bulbs or it's just different factors if it's something super serious and it's medical okay but there's a lot of cases of people who are losing their edges and it's, it has nothing to do with anything being medical. It's what they're doing to their hair. Now, I can tell you the number one reason why girls are losing their edges. And it's going to pee a lot of people off because this is supposed to be, quote unquote, saving your edges. This ball cap method got to go. Okay. Now, I know you guys swear by the ball cap method. Okay. People say that the ball cap method is supposedly supposedly supposed to protect your edges i for the life of me just cannot understand that part okay please give me your opinion in the comments and tell me how can the ball cap method protect your edges being that you have to add so much spritz holding spray whatever you want to call it whatever you use you have to add a lot of that to your edges for one then you go back in with the gel okay and you go back in with coats after coats after coats after coats after coats this stuff do you know how drying these two products are drying these products are it is ridiculous okay i see stylists and things on instagram and facebook all these social sites youtube all the time and i see them when they they have the ball cap it be laid nice or whatever but it's so much spread so much tension and everything just around their edges which is causing hair loss there's so many women who reach out to me and they're like the ball cap made it took my hair out <laughs> they're just keeping it straight okay i have friends they're saying I went to go take my ball cap method down and the bulbs of my edges were coming out. And that's what is happening, okay? It's just, I don't see how it can protect your edges. What is the difference from doing the ball cap method than just putting on a stocking cap and putting your wig on? All of that product on your edges is not good. For one, you're smothering them. For two, you're putting all of these drying products drying breaking like products on your edges that does not protect anything and a lot of times you guys will keep them on for a long long time keep these wigs on for a long time and you'll keep putting your wig down with the same ball cap method your hair will start to grow and it can't really allow itself to grow with a cap being tacked down and a, a, a cap and a lot of spritz being tacked down it can't really grow so what it does is just pulls it pulls and it it yanks it out and after a while the follicles weaken and it's it's gone it the hair stops growing in that area okay it's getting smothered and it's just a lot of tension there and then like i said with such drying products such as this and the spray it's just getting to it and also the uh the gel okay the ball cap method is just uh, uh, mm -mm. same thing with glue okay now we all love glue but let's keep it okay with each other glue is very abrasive and i don't know when people are going to start um embracing <laughs> that glue is very abrasive but it is it really really is 
glue should i feel like it should only be used it, it shouldn't be used as often as some people are using it because it is hard to get off the hairline and it also is hard to get off the lace okay and when i see some people applying it they are they're applying so much of it you know maybe if you're going on a trip or something and you want your wig to stay on for a while or i don't really know but the glue is it, it will take your hair out. And let me tell you one reason how. Because when I used to use glue, this used to happen to me. And I don't want this video to be too long. But we're having a discussion here, okay? Girlfriend to girlfriend. Guy friend to guy friend, you know. So anyways, when I used to wear glue, I would notice that when the glue was ready to lift, when it started lifting, maybe more she got to it, maybe got a little old, my hair, when it started to grow back, it would pull my edges back with it has anybody else experienced that because i know i'm not crazy it always used to happen to me when it was time for that wig to come down it would just pull my hair would grow back it would try to grow and it would just be pulling because the glue is still trying to stick right here but my edges or my hair is trying to grow you know what I'm saying? So it was time to take it down. And when I would take it down, my the funnel would be stuck to the little pieces of my hair. Okay? It's just time to for us to start caring a lot of bit. <laughs> Not a little bit. But a lot of bit about our hair. You know, it brings me back to people ask me all the time, why are you caring for your hair? Why do you care so much for your hair if you're just going to put a wig on? Why would I neglect my hair? Why would I put myself in a position to where I have to wear a wig? I'm bound to a wig, okay? At the end of the day, under all of this, healthy hair is the goal, okay? This this is pretty and everything like that, but healthy hair is the goal, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like we've strayed away from our edges and our hair, you know? I'm speaking specifically on edges now. It's getting out of hand. It's getting ridiculous okay i even seen a video where people were like shaving off the baby hairs like the very front piece so they can lay their frontal down right no 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 now that's just getting too out of hand don't go to nobody who feels like oh i want you know to shave off you even if though because i have little hairs on my face those little bitty peach fuzz i ain't shaving those off uh-uh, not to lay no frontal or not to lay no wig. I'm not doing that. And I wish I wouldn't like to just anyone else to do anything like that. You know, we're just not being very safe when it comes to our edges and our hair. Because, I mean, what's the point of having really long hair if your edges are sparse? Or if your edges are starting in the back of your forehead? Like, what is the point? You know, this, that's my point. Like, what is the point? But like I said, I think that the number one reason for the alopecia and the hair loss around the edges and why people are having such, such hard times is definitely because of the ball cap method and the glue. But again, that's my personal opinion. That does not, I repeat, does not go for women who have medical issues because there are some people, some women that do have medical issues and it doesn't have anything to do with wigs and things like that. They just don't grow hair in the area or they can't grow hair in that area or certain other areas, okay? And of course, I'm not speaking or being insensitive to those type of people who fall within that section so anyways guys i would love to have a discussion in discussion with you all let me know do you guys ever have problems with the ball cap method or with glue have you ever experienced like when your hair starts to grow and your wig starts to like start pulling your edges do you experience that do you agree with me that these products are just really really drying and that is the number one cause of hair loss around the edges you know just i just would love to know you guys' opinions um you guys already know any questions comments concerns Leave them down below and we will definitely discuss. I'll see you on the next one.